Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be talking about what new content we can be expecting tomorrow and what details are going to be going away today, as it's Monday, which means tomorrow is Tuesday and a new event week is going to be upon us. All right, so let's start with what's going to be going away first, as I'm sure many of you guys are interested in that. The first thing that's going to be leaving us is double GTA money and RP in the new adversary mode, Hardest Target. So I would suspect that because Rockstar introduced this last week, there is a chance that the double money and RP in this adversary mode will be continued. But technically, since this event week is ending, this is ending as well, although I fully expect Hardest Target to be continued for one other week. You also get 25% off select bunker and bunker renovations. So you get 25% off the Firehouse Bunker and Thompson Scrap Yard one, and all bunker renovations are 25% off as well. So if you don't own one for whatever reason, now is actually a pretty good time to dive into that. Also, the bonuses for businesses, first of all, 25% speed boost on research and manufacturing. So gun runners can get extra profit this week if you own a bunker by researching and manufacturing. And then back to the original finance and felony stuff, CEOs can take advantage of 25% bonus cash on special cargo deliveries. So if you have special cargo, go ahead and sell it now because that bonus is going to be ending later today. Also, we have some discounts ending. One of them is 25% off the MOC cab, so the Phantom Custom and the Hauler Custom, 25% off the LF-22 Starling, which came from Smuggler's Run, 35% off of the Cargo Bob, which again is a pretty useful vehicle, 25% off Executive Office Renovations, so not the offices themselves, but just the renovations, 25% off the Grotti Cheetah Classic, and then 25% off Vehicle Armor and Bulletproof Tires. And then finally, last but not least, the Premium Race Rally and the Time Trial Casino are also ending as well. Okay, so even though all of those days say that this is ending today on Monday, February 5th, that isn't really true. The tunables don't update until around 4.30 or 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning. So if you're staying up late or you're waking up super early, you'll still have a chance to take advantage of these bonuses, discounts, and sales before the new tunables get here. Now, two things I want to give you a reminder of. Number one, try to not buy things today. We're going to be getting new bonuses, new discounts, and sales tomorrow. And there's a good chance that if you buy something today, it'll be on sale tomorrow. So literally just wait like 24 hours and then buy the thing you want because it'll, you'll know if it's either on sale or not. So you won't have to worry about that. And then number two, if you have gun running stuff or you have special cargo stuff, do it now. Don't wait until tomorrow because the bonuses will be gone and there's a chance that these sort of bonuses and deals will never be coming back again. So be sure to check all your warehouses, check all your bunkers, make sure you've either sold everything or you don't have anything else left to sell. Now let's talk about what's going to be coming out tomorrow in Grand Theft Auto Online. There's going to be a new vehicle. And that vehicle is going to be the Canis Camacho. So the Canis Camacho is the final vehicle remaining on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site for $345,000. So this is obviously going to be pretty exciting. I am very much looking forward to this vehicle. Now, the reason we know this is from the release date that Fundum W2 actually posted up. So it confirms that on February 6th, the Camacho is going to be coming out, which means that after the Camacho, we only have three more vehicles left, the Karen 190Z, Vapid Hustler, and Fister Comet SR that will all be coming in the weeks following that. So Rockstar is going to be eliminating the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site tomorrow, releasing this Jeep off-roading beast. Again, I am so looking forward to this vehicle. I think it's going to be one of the better vehicles we have in the game. And it's just something I'm very much looking forward to. So that's going to be the vehicle that Rockstar releases tomorrow. Again, I'm so excited for it. I think it's going to be awesome. Uh, I'll be doing my usual array of videos and streams and a shark card giveaway as well. So you guys can get prepped and ready to rock and roll for this new content. Now, after that, I don't think there's going to be anything else. Rockstar have already gone through all the adversary modes that they had planned to release. I'm really surprised that they released Hardest Target as early as they did. So we don't have a new adversary mode. In fact, there's none left in the files. So that means we're just going to be getting our standard bit of discounts, bonuses, and sales uh, that we'll typically have in a normal event week. There's going to be a new premium race and a new time trial as well. But for the most part, that's it. I feel like the next four weeks, because there are four more weeks left, 
are going to be pretty simple and online. It's going to be the new vehicle and the new bonuses and the discounts. Now, I do think it would be nice if Rockstar continued to ramp up what they did last week, which is provide some really nice money-making opportunities as far as this event week goes. And I'm not talking about double money and RP on the adversary modes. Like, that's nice, but that's not the real way to make money in online. So I hope Rockstar continues that. Maybe they do like double money on import-export or double money on the biker stuff. That would be really awesome as well. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Let me know what vehicle you think is going to be coming out tomorrow. Even though I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's going to be the Canis Camacho. Technically, there is still a chance that it is the Karen 190Z that could be coming out. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. Which vehicle do you think is going to be releasing? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.